You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another book review since it's been so long since I've done one. This is A Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror, Twice Burned, written by none other than David Bergantino. Yeah, I really enjoyed this book. The overall premise of this this um, book and the story and how it all plays out is basically like blood just wrapped in gift wrap, slowly being unfolded, revealing everything, just just being revealed, you know, who the killer is, who's doing all this shit. And I love that. Um, now, I gotta mention that this was the first Freddy Krueger Tales of Terror book I read, so the premise is most effective because of that. If I had read... For example, help one that's already, I could have predicted a few things uh, more clearly. But since this was the first one I read, most things came really unexpected. If this is the first one you read, the book keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. It also keeps you guessing who like is doing all these killings and why. Often you think you've figured out who the killer is, then something else just happens and then you're like, okay, that's not the case. <laughs> There's this weird deformed sort of librarian in this book too. The way he's written out, it's it's like he's a uh, sloth from the Goonies, but evil, more uh, like evil kind of behavior. I also love the fact that Freddy introduces these stories much like the Crypt Keeper. It's a fresh take on Freddy. I mean, in the movies you don't see him like that. So now we get into uh, spoiler territory. Um, the ending is really cool and it's revealed that basically Freddy is doing all these killings after all. Now, since this was the first one I read, uh, I did not know this. I did not really see this coming. I was like, well, that must be the case because who else is doing this? But basically, it's possessing all these people. And um, so there could be multiple killers. It's actually kind of like, um, not that I think of that, that's kind of like Jason Goes to Hell, where Jason possesses you know, other people's bodies and uses them to kill others. Now, the ending is really cool. Um, it links the murders of these children to murders from the past. For example, our main character, Colleen, uh, actually used to be Joan of Arc in a previous life. In the end, she almost dies the same way by being burned. So if you're not familiar with Joan of Arc, she was burned because she was a witch. And Colleen gets all these dreams and nightmares that she is being burned. And that's because she used to be uh, Joan of Arc in a past life so i really liked that i thought it was really creative and actually every character has one it's funny because all these kids are writing history reports on these people so colleen is writing a history report on joan of arc who she actually used to be <laughs> another character tish was writing a book report on amelia Earhart. and if you don't know amelia Earhart, she disappeared in a plane crash and tish just disappeared just like amelia did just without the plane but she disappeared so <laughs> I thought it was such a satisfying ending because it's it's something where it's kind of like it's such a mystery the entire time and almost at the end you're like are they, is he not gonna explain why all of that that was mentioned before and why she keeps having these nightmares but then it just pays off very satisfying. However, which is interesting to me when uh, near the end when Mrs. Waddle, the old librarian. Um, is revealed as being the killer or actually being possessed by Freddy. Uh, the way David describes Freddy is very different from the movies, I think, um, because he basically describes his hand, like the glove, as a claw, which that to me, a c actual claw sounds more like this guy right over here, the new Nightmare Freddy. So, you know, it's. David told me he didn't um, really remember if that was intentional to have him be New Nightmare Freddy. However, I definitely believe that this is New Nightmare Freddy. In the other ones, he isn't. Like in these two that I've also read, it's definitely more like um, movie Freddy. But in this one, I don't know. The, the description just really reminds me of New Nightmare Freddy. So I would like to believe that Twice Burned is a... Uh, is in the same world as New Nightmare, so yeah, there you have it. So yeah, those are my thoughts on
Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror twice burned. I really enjoyed it. So uh, be on the lookout for reviews to these books as well. They'll be online soon. And if you want reviews for the Black Flame, um, Nightmare on Elm Street series, or the Jason X books, and many more reviews and other great horror content, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, we'll see you guys very soon. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger.